Hello, good afternoon po sa lahat. And ito po tayo mag-aano po ako ng uh, videos. Okay, so my best friend lives Blank Boritz Road. Okay, so yung ano, pag road na, yung preposition natin, preposition on yung gamit natin pag road, avenues, streets, like that. Okay, so ayun. Just say, my best friend lives on Boritz Road. Pag may number ng house yan, dapat ang preposition nyo is at. Okay, like shall say, my best friend lives at number 72 Boritz Road, like that. Pero pag place lang or city, ganun, ang gagamitin nyo naman na preposition is in. Like, my best friend lives in Las Pina City. Ganun lang siya. Okay, so here the answer is on Boritz Road kasi road siya ang nakalagay sa address. Next one, both drill captains blank with the band. Okay, so both drill captains, yung uh, subject natin is compound, I mean plural, and that's both, indefinite pronoun, both, so practice, both drill captains practice. Next one, number three, one-fourth of the cake. Okay, so remember, uh, pag fraction siya sa subject verb agreement, pag fractions, yung ano, uh, after ng fraction, yung object of the preposition, kung singular siya, dapat singular lang din siya. Pag plural siya, uh, plural yung verb. Okay, so ganito, one-fourth of the cake, since yung cake, object of the preposition of is singular, so dapat yung verb natin is singular. So, we say, one-fourth of the cake is not enough for him. or Okay? Pag, pero pag sinabi ting, one-fourth of the cakes are enough, are not enough for him. Okay? Ganun dapat. Remember that fraction. Hindi siya has or have here kasi hindi naman siya present perfect tense. Next, number four, one-fourth of the cakes. Oh, ito yung sinasabi ko. One-fourth of the cakes are not enough for him. So, that's letter B. Number five, two-thirds of the chicken. Okay, again, fraction, two-thirds of the chicken is eaten. Okay? Singular siya. Two-thirds of the chickens. So, maraming chicken yon, Maraming chicken na buo. So, two-thirds of that. That's why it's R. Okay? 70, uh, 70 years is a very long time to wait. Okay? Uh, time, distance, money. Uh, we... It always takes, uh, they always take singular verbs. So it's like 70 years is a very long time to wait. Next one 60 kilometers blank a long ride. Okay, so distance again is a long ride, singular. Next 10,000 pesos. This is money, is not enough to pay the bills. Okay, singular, kasi a month. 2,500 peso bills are gone. Okay. Why are? Kasi may quantifier dito which is 20 pieces. Diba? Okay. So that's why are. 2,500 peso bills are gone. Next one. Since he met his new girlfriend, one never seems to be at home. To be at home. Number 12, uh, the child responded to his mother's demands uh, by throwing a tantrum. Okay, by throwing a tantrum. I think she spent the entire afternoon on the phone. My fingers were injured so, many, so my sister had to write the note for me. Okay, for me. The police caught the thief. The corner of the Cascade and Plum Streets. Okay, so corner, pag corner siya, specific points, gamitin natin yung at, at the corner, at the middle, at the center, ganun. So, okay, so at the corner of Cascade and Plum Streets. Uh, streets. It has been snowing since Christmas morning. Okay, so present perfect, uh, present perfect, or oh, man, perfect tenses, I'm sorry. Perfect tenses, we usually use for and since. Pero since, ang, uh, ang gagamitin natin dito is since kasi start ng time siya. Pag since kasi start ng time, pag buong time, yung total period, for. Like for 30 days, like that. Since start, yung Christmas morning uh, is the start of the time or the period, so we have to use since. Okay, so it's just been snowing since Christmas morning. 
what are the main ingredients of this casserole my best friend John is named after his great-grandfather grandpa stayed up until 2 in the morning okay most of the work to be completed uh, most of the work most of the work okay so needs to be completed this month okay so i hope this one helps you guys i'll be going to upload more videos on this and yeah see you on the next video bye bye